Hey everybody, it's uh, Chris over at Dixieland Farm, and today I'm doing some antenna stuff. So it is a lovely day, it is the weekend before Thanksgiving, and it happens to be 60 degrees today. It, it's been 30 and 40 degrees and rainy and cold and, and awful, but today is a nice day. And I wanted to add to my antenna system, but I required another line and another tree. So I'll show you the trees in a second, but what I'm using is this kind of contraption thing that I built years ago. So a PVC with a, a fishing rod, and it's a slingshot, and you you don't aim, that's the trick. You just sit up there and then you, you know, you, you let go, shoot something in the air, and hope for the best. Nowadays, the actual easier thing to do is to get a drone. A little $50 drone and then just attach a very thin, you know, fishing line to it and then just fly over the tree and then back down. And done. You know, this took, uh, I think, 15 tries. And uh, I even tried it yesterday. I had a friend over. I was going to show off and then boom didn't happen but I did manage to finally get a line in a tree however it's not all the way up to the top and over that's kind of a disappointment but interestingly enough it is high enough for my 40 meter antenna which is already there so what I'm gonna just do is swap uh, I was gonna put up my 80 meter antenna which is 67 foot long uh, in the tree that I shot the new line in uh, I did not do that well I'm up about 35 feet however the other antenna is 30 one feet so it's all gonna work out I'm just gonna swap and use the other line it's not a big deal um, the trick also so you've got this fishing line which is very fragile what you do next is you attach um, masonry line uh, it's just thin string and then you reel that back and now that's stronger and then from that line you take your parachute cord or whatever rope that you're gonna put over the tree and that's what you bring over so that's what I'm gonna do right now so you can see I have now attached the masonry string to the fishing line. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to tape that up uh, to make sure nothing snags. You, you don't want any little bumps um, that can get snagged in a tree and break the line. Look out, folks. I caught the big one. Ooh, There it goes. Whoop. I caught it. I got it. Nice Dutch angle on that too, huh? Look at that, I'm a little, little lopsided. Let's correct you a little bit. All right, so, boom. Got the string. Now, we're going to attach all of this, well, some of this, up over the tree. Okay, folks, so, uh, same idea. We've uh, taped off the knot, so that way as we pull it up through the tree, it will go easier. There we go. The antenna rope is in the tree. Is it up high enough? Not perfect, but uh, not much is. And uh, it's just a hobby and, you know, I'm okay with that, so. So now all I'm doing is pulling the other antenna down and swapping. Just uh, undoing my tape and knot here. And then what I'm doing is attaching the new wire to the old rope and then the old wire to the new rope. Does that make sense? Doesn't need to make sense to you. You don't have to follow along if you don't want to. It makes sense to me. And that's the important thing. Scissors. They help unwedge things. They also help stab yourself if you're not paying attention. I'm going to stop paying attention to you and pay attention to this for a second. Alright, so... It is the perfect height for that antenna, so awesome. So now I'm just tying the knot for the new antenna on the old rope. And uh, we'll be cooking with gas, and then uh, it's about ready to go. As you can see, it is just about feeding time. So let's finish this up. Okay, so from a slightly different angle. So this tree 
the new wire old line this tree old wire new line so that's holding one antenna 80 meters and this tree is holding one antenna 40 meters both verticals so Chris could you explain what the hell you just did absolutely uh, vertical antennas are usually one antenna and I made a wire vertical a long time ago a quarter wave vertical now uh, I said at the time I was not interested in 80 meters uh, which is true at the time however uh, the 40 meter antenna is doing so good at night that I'm getting DX I'm getting far away stations Europe the problem is it's a nighttime band so when it's night here it is way late over in Europe 2 3 a.m. Uh, when I'm operating so they're asleep 80 meters is uh, while can be a DX band is more likely a regional band I should get the uh, Northeast and maybe Midwest of 80 meters which is good for the type of operating I'm trying to do which is slow speed Morse code and there should be more people on 80 meters uh, it's only a nighttime band it's more of a winter band it's a noisy band so uh, while most people don't talk about this you can make a fan vertical you could have two antennas as long as they're not next to each other um, like you know like that like right next to each other they're kind of separated by a few inches and in this case many feet and all come down to one feed point I can transmit on the 40 meter band and the 80 meter band with just one wire what happens is the electrons the electromagnet uh, force will when I'm transmitting on 80, see the 40 meter and go, oh, oh, I don't want to go in there. And it'll go in the 80 meter band and it'll just transmit that way. If I'm on 40 meters, the opposite happens. It sees the 80 and goes, whoa, I'm not going in there. The resistance is too high. I'm going to go on 40 meters. Now, interestingly, if you remember from the old video and you probably don't know what I'm talking about anyway, I could say that 40 meter vertical, I could use my tuner and get on 30 meters. Interestingly enough, uh, the antennas... Uh, the quarter wave on the third multiple so uh, you know we'll say uh, 80 meters is 3.5 megahertz and then the multiple and then the multiple again brings you to 10.5 very close to 30 meters so I should be able to use that antenna on 30 meters with just a little bit of adjusting just like right now with the 40 meter antenna I have I can use it on 15 meters without a problem that is science that is beyond the scope of this video because I'm just doing a quick you know practical video but I'm getting three antennas out of only two antennas when before I only had one antenna how cool is that and how much did it cost me nothing because I already had the spare wire it just cost me some time and some rope that I also had and I was using parachute cord which is the best rope to put in trees uh, because it uh, doesn't really break down over time doesn't snag as much and it's, it's much stronger than regular rope so I've had uh, that parachute cord for I don't know eight nine years plus and out in all weather and it's just fine and I'm reusing it so that's it from Dixieland Farm thank you so much for watching everybody take care